All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been some time since we've filmed anything, but I wanted to bring you guys in on this one because this one's gonna be a good one. Why? Because we're preparing the new engine for the new daily. Hannah wasn't really on board with this build, but I don't care because it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be sick. And I think now she's on board. Okay, it's not that I wasn't on board. I just wanted to focus on one car at a time. And I'm not gonna. We're gonna focus on two cars at a time. So. I need to park the F-350. What, what do we call the F-350? The Queen Mary? We gotta park the Queen Mary. Hail Mary's gonna go back to my mom's house. Missile Mary's getting picked up this weekend. And the last thing that we are gonna start building is the new car. And the new car, well, if you wanna see the new car, you gotta go over to Instagram. And then I'll eventually film. But this is gonna be a second part of that. So if you're on Instagram, you know what the new car is gonna be. Now, if you're on YouTube, you're gonna figure out what the new engine's gonna be. Are you listening? Damn. There's only a couple people who guessed that the new motor was going to be an EcoBoost motor. I actually have two of them here uh, that I was given from work. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the two of these. One's got some parts missing. The other one has a lot more parts missing. And we're going to take some parts off of this motor, swap them over to this motor. Because I know the history of this motor. I'm pretty positive this one's good. I don't know if this one's good or not. I was told it is, but I'm not sure. So we're going to take all the parts off of this engine here, put them on here, and eventually create an EcoBoost 2000. Ah, I can't tell you, actually. I forgot. I wasn't supposed to say and we're gonna put an EcoBoost into the new daily driver. This motor has about maybe 500 or so miles on it, probably not even that. And it also has a really big fat precision turbo slash turbonetics turbo, which I don't know much about the turbos. I know how they work. I just don't know like the sizing and stuff, but it's pretty fat. Pawnee's here to assist. Maybe you that's what I said. I said that this is one half of the unveil and Instagram's the other half. So they have to go to Instagram and find out what chassis it is. You find out what chassis it is, go put it down below in the comment section. I doubt you're gonna do it. Anyways, I'm gonna start swapping parts over. All right, so I have undressed this engine here, dressed this motor here. So a couple things are gonna be kind of weird to find out. This is the Mustang intake manifold and it didn't originally come with this and the harness kind of goes the wrong direction, meaning I'd rather it go toward the firewall of the, of the engine bay. But it's got all the uh, parts on it now. The front accessories are all bolted up. Water pump, thermostat housing, all those things. So there's quite a bit to still figure out on this motor. Um, but as you can see, a lot of the stuff's all buttoned up and pretty. All finalized, like wrapping things up. The intake manifold is just uh, sitting there. It's not bolted on, but it's a pretty sweet little package And I think that when we dynoed this engine at work, we made 300 and something I think 370 wheel horsepower in a transaxle setup So I'm kind of curious as to what this will make in a rear-wheel drive format But I would like to believe it wouldn't be far off from that and this amount of horsepower in the car that it's going in is going to be kind of nutty and I don't think that chassis has ever really seen that kind of horsepower as far as from the factory or even after the uh, four-cylinder turbo engine that was in it was tuned up and stuff. Maybe it has. I don't really know. I know people do big V8 swaps in these chassis, um, which I think just kind of kills the kills the vibe of the uh, smaller four-cylinder original car. And the chassis is not like a very, very high-performance chassis. We're like the Hail Mary. It, you could throw a V8 in one of these. It's kind of a bigger, heavier chassis. The car I'm gonna throw it in a lot smaller and lighter but it should be cool I have a lot more plans for this but this is just a quick rundown real quick it's a Ford EcoBoost motor it is the 3.2 liter motor and it has a big old fatty turbonetics turbo on it I have no clue what the size is I'll try to look into it and figure it out but it's pretty rowdy cool thing about these EcoBoost motors is that it doesn't have an exhaust manifold. The turbo bolts straight to the head. I'm sure some of you guys figured out. And then it's got direct injection, so it's got a high, high pressure fuel pump on it, and it can be fed by just a regular fuel pump to that, and then that there runs off of the camshaft, and then it pumps high pressure into the injectors that are underneath the manifold these ones here and then they'll shoot directly into the cylinder and the combustion chamber but the worst thing about it is that you never have gasoline flowing past your valves and your valves get all gummed up and nasty so it's got to be ran through every once in a while and cleaned up and fixed but this motor is going to be going to franklin and i think franklin has a plan for it and we're not really sure what it is yet we have tossed around a couple ideas i've kind of solidified my plans this motor is going to go into the car that i want uh, again you can go over to my instagram and see what car that is but that's pretty much it just wanted to give you a 
quick rundown on what's been going on. Also, the LS has the Tilton package all set up on it. I just got to put the G-Force transmission in it and connect it all, but that's all set up for the new car. It's getting ready. We've made a lot of progress on the roll cage in the uh, Pro 2 car. We still haven't come up with a name for it. So I need two names. I need a name for the daily and I need a name for the Pro 2 car. See what we come up with. As always, thanks for watching. Be safe, dude.